How's it going, everyone? So, football, right? Super Bowl coming up. Super Bowl 57. Coming up this Sunday, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philly Eagles. Should be an exciting game, especially if you're throwing down money. Apparently, 20% of Americans are throwing down wads of cash and betting on the game. This is a really crazy number, actually. The number of people, 50 million Americans, according to multiple reports, they're going to wager close to 16 billion, 16 billion dollars on Super Bowl 57. Pretty insane. Now, if you saw the other video where Charlie Munger basically says that crypto is gambling and should be outlawed, banned, crypto should be banned, just like China. Well, gambling is legal here. It's not in China though. And according to the American Gaming Association, estimated at 50.4 million Americans this game this coming sunday will put down 16 billion dollars that is a ton of money what's actually shocking is that this is double last year this is double the gambling of last year's super bowl jesus pretty crazy the american gaming association president ceo bill miller gave a nice statement of course right his association benefits from all this gambling <laughs> insane amounts of money Every year, he said, Super Bowl serves to highlight the benefits of legal, legal sports betting. He said that bettors, people putting down the bets, are transitioning to the protections offered because of the market is actually regulated. And that's pretty interesting. Leagues and sports media are seeing increased engagement in the whole sector. Legal operators are driving needed tax revenue. Of course, they collect a lot of tax across the country multiple states here and this super bowl which is taking place in glendale arizona state farm stadium they actually have sports booking in the building so you can place your bets right there right then so with 50.4 million people putting down bets with a population of 334 million that is roughly 20 percent of the population one out of five people out of those 50 million 38 million are going to gamble online throw down their bets 13 percent are going to go old school and deal with a bookie <laughs> most of the united states is okay with legal regulated and of course they love the taxes they're okay with the legal sports betting where the majority of states 33 states have legalized gambling this also includes dc take that charlie munger this actually is a recent phenomenon considering in the 90s 92 actually there was a federal law that banned it across the united states of course and in 2018 in may the supreme court struck that down said hell no you are allowed to gamble on sports let the excitement begin 16 billion dollars worth of excitement by the way <laughs> But speaking of money and Super Bowl, last year, Super Bowl 56 was dubbed the Crypto Bowl because, of course, tons and tons of tons of ads were just inundating the commercial space at the Super Bowl. Last year, you had FTX, Coinbase, Crypto.com, eToro, and famously, you had Larry David, Tom Brady, LeBron James, and all these famous guys pushing advertisements for the crypto sphere trying to get it to become mainstream with that level of an audience in american public television so all this money that was previously thrown at the super bowls because of course cryptosphere was just flush with cash at the time this super bowl 57 will not feature one not one iota of any kind of crypto advertisement this is all thanks to scam sam <laughs> So this year, Fox Sports is actually going to be in charge of televising nationally the Super Bowl. And they just revealed that zero, not one of any kind of crypto advertisements are going to take place. The reason why we know this, well, it's because they sold out. They sold out of in-game ad space for the match. No crypto this year. Executive VP of ad sales for Fox Sports. They said this year will be so dramatically different. The reason why is because actually two crypto firms were supposed to have commercials but the deals were not sealed and once ftx collapsed well guess what everyone backed off because they ran out of money a lot of their cash went down the toilet why is this such a big deal well you'd be surprised but but super bowl advertising is actually the primo of primo of american advertising the reason why well so many people gather together throw their parties and you have a product right in front of over a hundred million American households 
that is massive advertising potential. So big categories for advertising this year, of course, beer. <laughs> Loads of beer companies. Anheuser-Busch, famously and always. There's movie studios, all these movies, streaming services, obviously, cars, big one and tech, but no crypto, zero. The VP for advertisement sales actually did say that this year spots, ad spots sold a lot slower. Partially, of course, is the implosion of crypto space, but it's not just that. In general, a lot of advertisers are really, really concerned because of the global economy, really bad inflation, the American economy. So maybe all those characters that Larry David played in last year's FTX commercials, he was right, right? And don't forget, fortune favors the brave. <laughs> because collectively, there's a lot of souls out there. Brave souls because they're putting down $16 billion on Super Bowl 57. But with that, at the end of this video, I'm just going to let the Larry David commercial play because it's just hilarious and it's perfectly fitting. Even Tom Brady. A lot of people think this is how you mine Bitcoin, but you don't need a flamethrower to buy, sell, or trade Bitcoin and crypto safely. You just need FTX. Whose own FTX portfolio is now worth jack. <laughs> has been named in the lawsuit along with Larry David and a bunch of the other celebrities who were pushing last year and all those commercials to try to get people on FTX.com. They're all getting sued. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Smash the like if you haven't. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I call it the wheel. Hmm. I don't think so. What does it do? It rules. Yeah, so does a bagel, okay? A bagel you can eat. One of the worst ideas I've ever heard. Brother David, behold the fork. I got ten forks right here, baby. <laughs> huh? Am I right? Yes. Huh? <laughs> my lord? Hmm. What is it? A toilet, my lord. A toilet? You expect this court to do its business inside? We're not animals. <laughs> we go outside like humans. It's coffee. It's new. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's awful. You don't like it? I'm all jittery and I feel like I got a big job coming on. Hancock, you sign first. No king! Gentlemen, have you taken leave of your senses? The people shall have the right to vote. Even the stupid ones? Yes! Stupid people vote? Yes! Ha! Edison, can I be honest with you? It stinks. Does your wife know what's going on here? She knows I go to work. You're wasting your time, and it's sad. You might as well put the dishes in the shower. What? Hey, Catherine, what's cooking? We're putting the man on the moon. Are you out of your mind? I can't even get tuna without celery. Nobody's going to the moon, ever. Why not? It's too far. It's far. It's really far. It's far. Why do you want to know me? Put up the music. Fuck a car. Fuck a car. What car is that? What car is that? Like I was saying, it's FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Yeah, I don't think so. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. Never. Franklin! Hey, I left my cane in there. What? What do you mean? Hey! That's an expensive cane! Maybach.